Hey guys, Chris here, just showing you how to scaffold in Laravel. Here I'm going to start a new application, Laravel new, scaffold-q to quiet any errors that might come back. I'm changing into the scaffold directory. Here's all my files. Nice. It, it um, created the project correctly. I'm going to open that scaffold uh, project um, in PHP Storm. Uh, we're going to have to change something in composer.json. So the two things. Um, we're using a tool called appzcoder front slash crud dash generator. Um, yes, I'm using the 1.0 version, which is the older version, but um, you can update it to what, which the, the latest and greatest. Uh, just, just showing you that scaffolding is possible with some cool tools. So basically just add the Laravel collective front slash HTML. Um, package um, that should be the same version uh, as Lar the Laravel that you're running so if you're running 5.2 make sure the Laravel collective HTML version is the 5.2 version notice I'm using 5.4 so the Laravel collective HTML is 5.4 okay so I just did a C update so composer can grab all these um, libraries that it needs all these dependencies now it's part of my application um, we're going to have to add the providers of the collective HTML service provider um, and of course the apps coder crud generator service provider uh, you go to your app directory you go to um, I'm sorry now you go to config directory then you go to app.php I'm going to search providers and at the very tail end of this apps coder see it's already there but I'm just going to copy and paste as if you know this was a fresh deal that we're doing here. Um, so, you know, we'll just get rid of it. It's already there. You know what to do, how to copy and paste. Um, the next thing that we're going to have to do is add some aliases. Um, so, luckily, the apps coder um, CRUD generator uh, comes with instructions, as most packages do, and it just runs you through everything that you need to do. So, I'm going to go back to config back to app. I'm going to search my uh, alias uh, aliases directive or array and see they're already here but copy and paste just to mimic the exact uh, fresh setup. Uh, we're gonna now have to do a composer dump auto load so in my version of PHP Storm I just have a C command that I throw to do that. Um, okay, now we just do a vendor publish, and this is going to go ahead and copy the views um, over uh, into um, conf config and resource views layouts. So, just some default views that are basically generated. Um, right now, I'm going to do an example CRUD generator, but since I'm using the old version, uh, the delimiter for different fields um, has changed. It used to be a comma. If you use the comma as in the instructions here, it'll actually not work properly. So the delimiter is actually a semicolon. Uh, most of you guys will be using the latest and greatest of apps coder, so you won't have to worry about this. And look, everything's successful. It generated controller, model, migration, view, and added a, a route. Now that worked. That's awesome, right? Um, if you go through your app HTTP controllers, you'll see that it um, it act, you know uh, see the post models already generated. I actually like to create a models directory, by the way, to compartmentalize things a little bit. Go to controllers, post controllers now generated. This is really cool. It gives you um, some stuff to to work with. So this is the whole point of scaffolding, right? Posts, it, it creates um, a way of, of, of starting to uh, add um, data into those fields that you just you know, created. Uh, of course, this table isn't created just yet automatically. We actually have to do a PHP artisan migrate in order for that to build out the table. But all the front end stuff is now here for us. We can right to that table once after we do the PHP artisan migrate which we're about to do 
um, in the database here's the migrate migration that it created um, which is really neat you know um, ID title and body uh, there they are so let's do a PHP artisan migrate um, oh for some of you guys you might have this error which is a specified key was too long error when you do a PHP artisan migrate on a fresh install of Laravel um, just quickly doesn't hurt anything to show you how to fix this error so you're not uh, wasting any time you can just get right through this um, I already pasted the the error fixes there but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and paste them back in as if this was a fresh deal so this is what you want to add to your um, app service provider PHP file it's in the um, the app and providers directories you want to to use eliminate uh, basically just copy these commands um, or you can just search the uh, error on Google so I did my PHP artisan migrate and oh, I gotta configure my database this is a fresh install of Laravel so I'm gonna spare you with the, the you know taking too long here with messing with the database PHP and .env files uh, but I'm, I'm sure you know how to uh, configure your .env and database.php files for Laravel. One thing you might want to note is Unix socket that I that I just had right there. Um, application map team MySQL MySQL.soc. For those of you using map, you might want to uh, specify the socket, uh, especially at the command line. Um, that's helped my PHP artisan migrate problems. So. This, these tables are now created with my PHP artisan migrate command. I go into scaffold and look, boom, scaffold database has all those tables now. Hope this has been helpful, guys. This will, this is really, this is the way to develop. Uh, this has saved me hours and hours of time in development. Hope this helps you.